It usually runs like a well-oiled machine. All right, we're on. I'm hanging up. I have no doubts. <laughs> we're being recorded. Okay. Um, good evening. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening. Today is January 2nd, 2020. Uh, today it's the Environmental Conservation Board. We have uh, an agenda that we're going to follow. Um, I would like to welcome Vicky, Vicky, Victoria Corsa here as a new member of the board. Uh, Julie McKeon is now with the uh, Zoning Board. So I just would like to welcome you aboard and be looking forward to working with you. Me as well. Thank you. So with that, we have a... Um, we have an agenda we're going to follow. The first item is uh, extension of a wetland permit, 70 Old Route 6 LLC uh, recycling facility. <laughs> but for me, it's fine. Do you want to raise it up? I can get you a chair. <laughs> Could you please state your name and who you're here to represent? Uh, Paul Flint from Public Engineering, and I'm here to represent the Apple. Okay, so um, please explain. We've already extended this through the other day, <laughs> and it's over. Um, are we planning to start the work anytime soon? Because this is the second, first, ex this will be the second extension. It's been three twenty one seventeen. more than that. Well, no. the, the project was originally approved Paid the Tompkins. Tompkins had it for several years. Right, okay. And ultimately, the 70 Seven. old 6 LLC group <laughs> bought it from him. Right, okay. And then we had issues with getting the DEC permits reissued, which they should have been done as a transfer. But the DEC, for whatever reason, um, didn't follow their own rules and regulations. And we ended up having to refile the applications, which they ultimately granted, I believe, last February. Last February. It's January, January or February, yeah. Is there, is you should have copies yeah, of Yeah, we have it all. There, there's been there's, there's no change in the in the no, original project. No, there's been project. no okay. change. The only okay. thing that has happened is that one of the owners of the project has passed away, okay. and he was the driving force that had them purchase the property in the first place. So they they are looking to keep the application permitted, permitted so they can get their business plan in order. Okay. So nothing in the plans have changed. Everything that has been previously submitted, it would would remain the same. Correct. And all and the and the, all the permits are up to date. Correct. Okay. So um, my, did you have anything else? Nope. Okay. I I had two notes from the last time you were here, which was in, for this property specifically, March sixteenth, twenty seventeen. Um, there were two notes about submitting a. DEC email for for no reflagging. I think that we made that on con that, that they didn't require reflagging, um, and we made that a condition. So I assume that that's probably in the file. Uh, however, when was the last reflagging of this property? Do you know? Because obviously we brought this up last time, and that was two years ago. At, at this point, oh. with the valid wetland permit, you wouldn't be looking to reflag. So the permit was reissued by the DEC. See. I believe at the end of February of 18. Well, based on your, Which well, you should have. well, this is, the last letter I have here is January 2017, right, where you came in. Now, the site plan approval expires on 1-11-18. The DEC solid waste management expired in 12 of 17. Mm -hmm. Fresh water wetland permit expired 12-18. And the SWIP approval expired 32917. I would really like to have another letter in the file as to when permits have been Renewed. extended or when their expiration date. I'll give you an up to date list and I'll give you up to date copies. That uh, is it? Has been submitted, so I don't well, know. I'm just saying all that's in the file is from 2017. There was some. Was, what? There was some. I saw online there was something that was there beyond that. I think. The site plan extension was done 
back in June of 19. Site plan okay. uh, yeah. extension. And the, and the project has finally received the solid waste permit February 8th, 2019. And our, the SWIP isn't valid until March 22. So I'm going to write on this, if you don't mind. I'll, I'll uh, provide you with a new. And I'm going to make the 619. <coughs> solid waste management was 618. The uh, fresh water wetlands permit. One nineteen, and the SWIP is three twenty two, and the DEC general permit. I don't know. And that, that, you, that's valid until you file a notice of termination. Right. Okay. So <clears throat> this is what I I'd like to propose to the board. I would like to make. And how much time do you need this permit extended for? I would like to. All right, because here's the, the two conditions I'd like to propose is, one, this is the last extension until we have to, ref I'd like everything refreshed. Okay. Okay? And then the second item is you need to provide us with copies of all active permits for the file for this. All right, I would like, I will, I will I would like, the, the, I would like these updated. I'd like it updated for the file. Okay. Yes. Could you live with those? I can live with that. Yeah. Okay. I just want to um, again ask that the question: Do you know when the last time that was reflagged? Obviously, before it, 2017, because that's it, when we it, asked about it. It wasn't flagged. DEC came down and walked it to confirm the original flag. Do you know when that was? I'm going to say within the last two years. Two I years. Yeah, I have, I have correspondence in the file. I'd like, if you wouldn't mind, yeah, a, like was, that in the... It, it, would have been, it is in the file right now, within the last two years, was, you think? It's definitely within the planning board file. Why well, you don't have a copy, I don't know, but I will get you a copy. In other words, they came, before they issued their wetlands, reissued the wetlands permit, they yeah. came back to walk the site. And they did that in the last two years, you said? Okay. So before, before you start work, though, you're going to have to come back here, right? And you're going to have to notify the wetlands well, inspector, inspector right. to come out to make sure everything is up to snuff anyway, right? And that's part of the conditions of right. the original permit. Right, right. So, and he also has to go upon the completion, and you paid your escrow since 2017, okay? So I, I'm going to make a motion to extend the permit from 1-1-2020 through 12-31-2020, with the following conditions. One, that this is the final um, renewal. Next uh, next, uh, next uh, renewal, refresh drawings. How long is it, how long is, um, and what was the D second? DEP or DEC consider the wetland flagging is valid for? They have a year, five years. Five years. Used, used to be ten. Right. Okay. And then somewhere around 2008, oh, yeah. 14 or so, 15, he cut it back to five. Five. Years. Right. Okay. I remember that. And was before. Their policy now was to just not to reflag it and have you resurvey it. They'll come down, walk the property again. If they feel it's where it's showing on their drawings, they'll mm -hmm. say that's fine. Okay. And they'll issue with their letter. Well, your SWIP is good for 22, so 22. I'm not going to ask that. So I'm just going to fresh water. Permit. And DEC general permit. Could, let me ask you a question. Why, why are you suggesting this be the last one they could renew? Because it's been three years. Where where is it where is where do you get the three years from? Well, here's my concern, right? Mm -hmm. My concern is that when a job is put on the uh, the shelf for an extended period of time, not just a year, mm -hmm. conditions on the existing site change, right? Site conditions change, uh, things could be different than what was actually designed, the basis of the original design. So what my concern is that if he goes out there, uh, if he if he comes in for another renewal in a year, and 
we don't reflag, we don't do whatever whatever we have to do. And he goes out there to build, and now for some reason, through act of God, that that wetlands area or the buffer has changed, you know, that could change the basis of your design. Right? It could change the conditions of his... Of, it could be a uh, differing site condition, if you will. And this, all this is going to do is... Listen... <clears throat> Paul, I won't have a problem if you basically refresh the drawings, new stamp on, you know, redate them just to verify that they were were uh, were checked to make sure that everything is in good condition. But uh, but also, you know, the application now is is three years old. I mean, you know, I understand if we have things. I mean, would it help if I made I, I mean, it? The reason why I'm saying this is my past experience is not here as elsewhere is is that permits are usually good. For, well, this is this is mainly through the planning board. It's good for seven years, you know, basically, and and you can say sure there could be an act of God. It might change something, but I mean, I, I don't. Know. Every, if he comes in every year, and you know, if we if we were if we ask him to do a site visit each time, okay, or something like that, to re-examine the site to see if there's any material difference. And that, that seems to be that would be all right. So uh, be, that's a would be, good, that, that's a that good would be adequate. That would be adequate instead of I, I don't. I, I, okay. If you point if, 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 if he, I mean, we can we can even have the well inspector go out and take a look at it if you want. I mean, it's just make sure that things haven't been changed. But to, but it, you you're asking you're asking him to go the applicant no go to, to an ama an amount uh, a very costly, uh, you know. Uh, Review, okay. Okay, so then why don't I put this then? So next I, I could, but let me let me let me add that one more thing. I, I I would think that that there should be a limit. Okay, I just don't think it should be necessarily three years. I, I think without some 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 prior thought given into it though. But I do think there is. You are right. There, we should have a limit. But uh, three years to me is just just to sit here and just decide three years. I, I can't do that myself. Okay, okay, so then I why don't I just put, put the following conditions that prior to next renewal, he must verify actual field conditions right here. prior to, to and, ver and submit a letter of, of certification. Yeah, yeah. But he also he has to give us this updated information. Yeah, information here. also. Right. All right, so then I'm going to just put uh, provide, perform, site visit. site visit, and certify conditions. Uh, are, refl are truly reflected on the drawings, okay? I I'm not worried about so much an act of nature, I particularly not where this site is located. I'm worried about the act of man out there. <laughs> well, that's, that's that, that I was trying me, to... That bothers me even more. <laughs> is the site currently still being used for stockpiling? There was stockpiles there previously. I believe the stockpiles have been cleared out. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so then I'm going to make a motion... Let me ask you another question before I make the motion. If I gave you 18 months, would that be better? That would be fine. Yeah, I, that's, that's fine with me, yeah, too. Rose is going to kill me. <laughs> no, it's a new year. Exactly. Right Everything's reset. <laughs> really? <laughs> Let me go home and tell my family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make a motion to extend the permit number uh, 931 to 70 Old Route 6 LLC for 18-month period from January 1st, 2020 June 30th. June 30th. through June 30th, 2021 with the following conditions. That prior to the next <coughs> renewal, you perform a site visit and certify the conditions are reflected on the drawings. And two... Provide updated permits for the DEC site plan, freshwater permit, and DEC general permit. Do I have a motion? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Can you and, read but off Please those tell them again? to build it, okay? We really yes. need it. Right? This, uh, I want to see the environment. Perform a site no, visit. The, what are these uh, permits for? What are the permits? The permits are uh, site plan approval, Town mm -hmm. of Carmel site plan approval. The DEC Solid Waste Management Permit, uh -huh. the DEC Freshwater Wetland Permit, yep. the SWIP is good till 22, and the DEC General, General Permit, 
GP uh, permit number. I'm not going to read the permit that's number fine. out. Yeah, it will be in the file. So that's it. So she's going to look. I'm already going into 21. <laughs> I hope I'm not back. It makes two of us. No offense. Have a happy new year. Happy new Take year. care. Okay, next item Thomas Vitiello, 192 West Lake Boulevard. Hey. How are you? Very good, how you been? Pretty good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So what can uh, so you're here and you can come up to the mic and state your name. Please yeah, come up to the mic and state your name. Thomas Vitello. Okay, and what can we do for you tonight, Tom? I'm looking to get a uh, ten by fourteen shed down by the lake. Down by the oh the the property that you that That's you fixed up a few years ago. Yeah. Mm. Do you know when you were here previously? Uh, I had a permit to do some site work. Mm -hmm. Are you have a drawing? Uh, no, I don't. That yeah. Was, uh, yeah, I got it. yeah. Okay. Okay. April 20th, 2017. I guess you posted that. And then I got it granted on the 30th of May. We must have been in a good mood. May 30th of May. A lot of fancy drawings for you. Okay. So you're within the 100 foot buffer. You're going to build this or you're going to have it delivered? I haven't made that decision yet. Okay, right off the bat, I'm going to need a, a we kind of need a sequence of, these are the things you're missing, right? Because you're building a shed within the buffer, you have to give us some, you have to give us a, um, probably a rain garden or some sort of water collection device for the impermeable surface that you're putting on the property. Okay, because you're, you're looking at 140 square feet worth of mitigation. Okay. So, what I so what we need from you is I need a um, we need a rain garden, a grain garden, or uh, or other or stormwater retention device. Of your choosing for this area. Okay? Um, right, yeah. Are you familiar with those? Um, we have a, I, they're not I, we have a file that I can share something yeah. with you. Okay. So essentially, if, if, you're, we, uh, put, if you put gutters on this thing, if you're able to put gutters and direct the water that's coming off of this into a small garden, this wouldn't be a very large one at all, no. that is right next to it, maybe planted alongside it, up to you and how you want to handle that. Um, the, the, what the rain garden does is it retains the water and lets it filter through the ground much slower than if you just dumped it on the ground and had erosion that would, you know, wash out whatever it is your area. How about right into the lake? So that's what we're trying to avoid. That's what we're trying, that's what we're trying to avoid. <laughs> so that we so want the water, the water to go through the ground well, what to happened, get into the lake. The way it's supposed <laughs> to work is when it rains, the water goes into the grass, into the soils, and filters out and eventually makes its way into the lake on land and that's that's what the intent of the rain garden is it's to basically filter the rain water because of the impermeable surface because it, is, it isn't a rain water so much that has contamination is when rain water when the rain water hits the ground okay it picks up sediment and silt or whatever you know whatever's there and carries it into the lake mm -hmm. so we're trying to intercept that from happening okay so the, the idea of one of the things is, is that possibly you can do is just a ring. It's just a little garden with certain plants in it, okay. in the gutters off the building. The other, the other thing. Um, you need that added to the plan? Yeah. Well, I need it added to the plan. You would show on here right. the location of the rain garden, and then you would show, what you would basically show is here's your, here's your shed, here's your rain garden. Here's a piece of pipe from there. Here's a, here's a four inch piece of pipe from here to here. Prefer, you know, a, a PVC, four inch PVC pipe into the rain garden, call it a day. And you would have to show that on the drawer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, now the here's. Other, the other thing is, around. what kind of a foundation are you going to provide? That's, that was my next question. I, you know, I, was, I didn't look that far into it yet. I didn't know if the, the, these questions would be answered. 
So, put a four-inch slab down. All right, well, that would be, it would have to be the, so now here's where you have to, so if you do a 10 by 14, just to say 10 by 14, and now you go 11 by 15, you have to base your calcs on 11 by 15. You don't care what I do as long as I give you the right calculations. I, mean, I was trying to stay underneath the 10 by 14 for tax purposes. I don't want to go through the roof with a big tax thing. So Can't the speak slab, to the mic. <clears throat> the slab doesn't matter. So the slab, if I make the slab bigger, you don't care? As long as I give well, you I the do proper care. size for the rain garden. Right, right. right. If, if you make it larger, you need a larger rain garden. Yes. Right. Fine. Yeah. Or just put stone down and then put this, the, yeah. the shed right on top. And, stone's you know, pervious. Stone's so pervious. But, I mean, the outside, anything outside the roof line, if it was stone, wouldn't make a difference to us. Right. right. Did, did you want the, did you want the uh, the uh, the floor of the shed to be? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. make it so, yeah, right. can make it plywood. Right. You put it on no, six by six. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I think concrete's better. I don't know. Sure. Yeah, but if yeah. you're going to buy a prefab shed, you're going to build it. I haven't made a decision yet. Okay. Because well, here's that, the other thing. Because that, that's going to change the foundation right. then, probably. Because you, if, you, if it's prefab, you, you can probably just put some some sound tools or something in and just put, some, cut, put a couple of columns in it. But that, that's your choice. Right. And then the other thing is, if they deliver the original, the prefab, you're going to be driving through the wetland buffer, right? Sure. So you have to come up with a plan of how you're going to restore, maintain, and protect that, right? Yeah. yeah. So then I'll build. It's probably easier. Just probably, yeah. Just to build. I'll build. Yeah, and then if you're going to dig, you're going to dig this by hand. You're going to dig it yeah. with a machine. Hand, so that's fine. You got the silt fence up. You know. You're putting more large rocks. No, that's all done. That's, all done. that's all done. That's all done. Here's your hundred foot buffer, and then the ramp is going to be removed. No, the ramp is staying. Uh, is it existing? Is it existing? It is now. No, it is. It's existing. <laughs> that's not the type of answers no, I, I like to hear. That's why I smiled. <laughs> that's 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 reflecting the, uh, the audio. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his facial expressions gave it away. Um, the other thing is uh, just provide us with a sequence of uh, construction. construction. Bullet point list. First, Bullet we're point gonna list. put the sill fence down. Then I'm gonna bring in the materials and put it next. Are you to putting there. water or electric in this shed? Electric. electric. Yeah. Where's it gonna be connected from? I have a pole that they they, they brought me electric. There's a pole right there. Where, Here, where, where's right there? On the road. On the road? On my property. Yeah. Right next to the shed? No. A real pole, like a... Uh, telephone ten, pole. Telephone pole. Okay. Where is it located? Oh, no. by the road. By the road. Right, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah fine. So you, are you going to string, the you're gonna string a wire or are you going underground? I'm going underground. Okay. We need that on the map. So, so yeah, you got to show that on the map, too. Okay. And then this area here oh, is considered down. disturbance. Because you're going down 18 inches with a conduit, right? Yep. So. Is that going in by hand again? Yes. Well, I was, I, I was going to rent one of those things that just. A ditch witch? Yeah. Okay. So then you would need a spill kit. So this is what I'm going to ask you to do, Tom, is I need you to go back and basically clean this drawing up, uh, showing us the electric, showing us where the rain garden is, Showing us what kind of foundation you're gonna do. Um, foundation. You need calculations for the rain garden. Yeah. And calcs. There's a standard uh, way to calculate that. If you ask Rose, she should, should have. Be. I checked in there. I didn't see him. You can check again. I might have missed it. There's a bunch of papers. But um, there's a standard way to calculate how much, how the size of the rain garden you need based okay. upon the square footage of, of uh, impervious surface. You just figure that out. You know, it might be five by five or whatever it is. And then you figure out where on the map you want that. You say, I'm having gutters with a leader down to it. Show it on the map. We're good on that. And the rain garden has certain features you have to include in it. Right. It has to be certain depth, certain material, and certain things like that. And certain down, plants you know, in like it, too. A, and then certain plants. Okay. Yeah, Is it the same as a biospell, or is it totally different? Um, I think it's I'm different. I'm not sure. Bell swell is made out of rocks and stuff, right? Bell yeah. swell. Still large stones. No, this is a, a a garden. There's certain plants you can put in it. Basically, it cleanses the water before it goes into the groundwater. Okay. 
All right. I mean, you're, early, you're here early enough that you can iron this stuff out. Right. You know what I mean? So. So another thing we would need is also details of the silt fence. Oh, silt Gotta provide details. detail. Standard. You can get that on uh, Google. Just type in standard okay. silt fence detail. Uh, the area disturbance. So when you calculate, so you need to include on the map on this somewhere. You need to write in the total area of disturbance. So that is the footprint of your building um, plus the ditch that you need to uh, you need to dig. We don't care about square foot, so we don't care about depth, but it's you know two. Feet yeah, you're only basically looking from the hundred foot buffer to here. Yeah, it, within the hundred foot buffer area of disturbance. Within. All right. Um, and Any questions? sequence of construction. Nope. Is that much for me? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can read it off. He can make a copy. Um, we'll oh, a yeah. Picture. I mean, yeah, good luck reading this. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, certainly you could take a picture. Um, if you are going to have, so that if you're going to be using heavy machinery, Ditch Witch would be considered one of Bobcat. If you do plan on having. Um, a truck back in a prefab, which is still on the table. Don't think it's off the table just because we were saying you'd have to have a few extra things um, because you'll be there not even overnight, if, like, you know, an hour or two if they're doing a prefab. Yeah. It might be simpler for you to do it that way if you are going to go that route um, or if you're going to use a ditch witch, which is a heavy piece of heavy machinery. You need to include a couple of notes on the drawing here. So that would include that you're not going to have overnight parking. In within the hundred foot buffer of any heavy machinery, so you can't park your bobcat right on the edge of the lake, for instance. Okay. Um, no, no fueling on site, or if you are going to do fueling on site, you need Up to the explain where it's going to happen away from the the water, essentially. Um, and you need to talk about put on your map somewhere a spill kit. So he's got that. He does. Yeah, he has a spill kit. Great. On. Never mind on that then. So you're good there. Um, including your sequence of construction, exactly what's going to happen. So if you're going to have heavy machinery, talk about how it's going to go. It's going to deliver and then it's going to leave. Right. It's going to follow this track. Yeah. Fine. If you're using uh, the ditch witch, as I mentioned, dig the line, and then it's going to be part, you know, returned, and I'm not going to keep it overnight, that kind of thing. Or if you are keeping it overnight, where you're keeping it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Last thing to include is on your sequence of construction, is um, you need to contact the wetlands inspector both before and after installing the silt fence. So what I mean by that is uh, the very first thing on your secret of construction is install erosion control measures. Silt fence says that, essentially. Okay. So you install that, you call the wetland inspector that's rich up in the engineering department. He comes, make sure your silt fence is installed properly and says you're good to go. Go ahead and do your construction. Um, and then when you're finished with the whole project, but before you remove the silt fence, Call him again. He comes and makes sure it's, you know, per the, the specs that you gave us in terms of your erosion control. Make sure nothing washed out into the lake, that kind of stuff. He says you're good to clear. You're clear to pull the fence out, and you're good. So before and after. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> Makes my job easy. Hmm. I got nothing else. That's it. You want me to read off my list, make sure you got it? You want to take a copy of it? Or you can take a picture. A picture of this you one. got it. I'm really sorry that I don't I don't usually write this for people to take pictures, so really good luck, but hopefully Do with the... No, no, just the just bottom one, number two. Down. Hopefully with the uh, recording, you should get a good sense in case you missed it. Do I schedule, I got to call Rose tomorrow to, to put me back Yeah, just to call Rose again and tell her to put you, you back ready, when right. you have everything ready. Right, yeah, for uh, February, there'll be another meeting? There'll be another meeting in two, two, two this, a month. There's two a month. So there's oh, two a month. The first, first and third. Third Thursday of the month. Mm -hmm. First, okay, good. So okay. we'll have one more January, and then we'll be here February. And then was it to get it approved? Then right what there happens there? is uh, yeah. after we get, if you have all the paperwork in, we accept your application. You go on a 30-day, 30, 30 to 45-day clock, depending on how the papers fall. It gets posted to the public. Uh, if there's no comments, we get a comment, no comments, you come in the next meeting, we show you the secret handshake, and you're on your way. Okay. All right? Thank you very much. Take Thank care. You. Happy, Happy New Year's. Nice New Year's. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year. Oh, does he have a stuff. deed in here? Yes. Great. I'll look at it next time.
I need to, I'm sorry, we need, I need to wet my pair no matter what. Yes. I need to wet my pair no matter what. If the rain garden depends on, if I put it on stilts with gravel on the bottom, then I don't have to do No, but no, based, it's because of the roof. If you put a 10 by 14 shed up, right, yeah. your shed disturbs 140 square feet of rainwater sure. clearance. So you're basing it whatever is considered impervious material. So if you make a slab 20 by 20 with a 14 by 14 shed on it, right. you got to go by 20 by 20. Not right. But if, if I put like uh, like bricks down and I put the, the you still need to go by 140 square feet. Right. It's based on the roof. But you said something about the gravel because if I put the gravel on the if you roof, make a hundred by hundred gravel pad, yeah, and you put this little no, he's shed saying on he's on. thinking that because he puts the shed on gravel, it's different than putting it on oh, concrete. Oh, oh, oh. No, there's yeah. no, the only difference is, is no, 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 no. Like you said, if you if I raise it up and put it on gravel on stilts, yeah. You still have to put it. The uh, roof is the roof covering. is the, the roof's a roof. The roof is the roof. Right. The roof is the dictating factor. Well, the largest area of impermeable surface dictates the rain garden. Yes. Right. Okay. Right. So even if you put it on stilts, it's the roof. Right. But the why roof. would you ask me if I was pouring it on concrete? It's just uh, well, because usually, because if you pour like when you pour a, a service pad, you know, for a fourteen by ten, your pad would be a little bigger, mm -hmm. typically, right? Because right. you want to have an edge on it or whatever. So I was just figuring if you poured it on concrete, you would make the pad a little bit bigger than the shed, right? Yeah. So then you would have to, then the, then the rain guard now dictates by the area of the concrete pad that you're pouring. Because it's bigger because than the roof. Because it's bigger than the roof. Right. Right, okay. All right, I got you. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Good luck. Next item. Frumpkin and Mayor, 5 Ferry Lane, construct dock and boathouse. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Please state your name and who you're here to represent. Joel Greenberg, the architect for Mr. Frumpkin. Okay. That's a pretty, pretty building there. Joel? Oh, yes, it is. I had to show my wife this one. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. Okay, were you here before? No. Oh, it's the first time? It's the first time, right. All right, so... Basically, this is the first lot as you go over the bridge onto Ferry Island on the left-hand side. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the uh, site plan or the area map, here's Six End, there's the bridge, this is the lot we're talking about. Okay. Mr. Frumpkin also owns the lot next door, which he has a very large house, which I'll show you on the survey. Mm. So, in effect, we had to go to the zoning board to get approval to, we needed three variances, which were all approved, and now before the uh, before your board. Uh, but one of the conditions uh, for this project was they granted all the variances that we needed for the boathouse and the uh, studio apartment above. But what's going to have to happen now is once we get our approvals, we have to combine all these into one big piece of property, which we're in the process of doing with our attorney. Okay. So the, of course, the zoning board want, didn't want this thing left as a separate individual right. lot. So okay. basically, again, if you pay, I'm sure you pass this thing quite often as you're going down 6 end. but this is the first house on the left. It's a fairly old house. It hasn't had any improvements. Mr. Frumpkin, uh, as I said, owns this lot over here, has a very large house here, and recently just purchased this. Mm -hmm. So the aim here now basically was to remove this house and build a boat house with an apartment above. And as you can see from the site notes here, the site data notes, we uh, applied for and received all the variances that we needed from the zoning board. Mm -hmm. Which is on your map. So this permit is not just for that, it's also for removal of the existing dwelling, or is that a different job? No, that's a little bit done. Same. Okay. The same. Okay. So and here's, same. My, here's my concern. Okay. Usually when we put out, um, we put out docks <coughs> on the lake, there's a limit of 25 feet Correct. from the shore. Correct. From this drawing you're showing me, you're 
the furthest is 32 foot correct. from shore. That's correct. Well, you have a variance, correct? Correct. We've got a variance to that from the zoning board. Yeah, but I don't know if the zoning board is. Most, cer most certainly do because a zoning variance is a variance from the zoning ordinance, and that's yeah. But I understand yeah, what you're saying. There isn't there a requirement, something about a limitation that goes beyond that's goes f with uh, DEC or something like that? Yeah, that I, mean, it's all, I think it's also, an, um, uh, just to remind you that uh, within the last two years, you approved other docks. 25 no, feet. More than, more than 20. No, no, trust me. We, we usually hold them at 25 well, feet. The point is, we got, so, the, we got the variance. The well, I have to, I, uh, well, uh, I am willing to listen to your application, and I will listen to, I will hear you out. We will go through the application Thank like you. everybody else. I need to check with um, our attorney because the, the concern I have is that the any proposed any dock that goes out into the water from the hundred years I've been on this board is thirty is twenty five feet maximum from the shore. Correct. So I understand the zoning board. Approved it up to 32 feet, but I just don't know if they fall under the jurisdiction because this is a water course, not a land zoning course, and that's my concern. I so I want to make sure that I'm. Listen, if they go, go right ahead, absolutely. Oh, I I will. But the point I'm trying to make out is the variance is from the zoning ordinance of the town. And I problem. understand that. But a zoning what, what, what ordinance is, I want to build a deck 10 feet from my neighbor's property. Can I get approval on it? Yes. I want to go third story on a building, whereas a typical is two-story building. Is that approved? Yes. But I'm talking about things that are on land. You are building a structure in the water. Correct. Okay? In which other agencies, have state agencies, have, have jurisdiction. And... And again, somewhere along the line, I've just been told. I, I couldn't agree with you more. Check it out. No, and that's As right. I said, that's fine. Uh, the town attorney, who I'm sure is your town attorney, was at this meeting. Which town attorney? Greg Fulcher. Okay, well, I have. I appreciate Greg, but we have a different attorney we use. Have you. Wait a minute. Just, you, not, you don't use Greg Fulcher? I use Charbonneau. Yeah, the, he's the administrator. He's the yeah, the same with ours. Have you contacted uh, the DEP? On this, or the DEC, and asked, uh, gotten anything from them with regards to? No, I, I will obviously do that, but I think the first board to come to is you. There, there, okay. Actually, there, there's a. I'm thinking there's another state agency that gets involved. With Army Corps? No, no, no. It's a state agency. Oh, Army oh. Corps is federal. DEC. No, besides the DEC. No. But that, that's just a question for us. Oh, Joe, okay. We. we, we we recognize you got the variance from the town, et cetera. Please, I, I want you to be 100% right. sure of what we're doing. I, I, what I, we're I, is correct. I, I, I have no problem. I think you want us to be just in case we find uh, something. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't look good in our okay. stuff. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, there's, there's going to be, a, you said, a studio apartment on top of this? Yes. Okay. And how are we planning, just for giggles, how are we planning to mitigate the six, the 900, 900 square foot, whatever, 1,000 square foot of disturbance in the lake? How are you planning to mitigate that? Well, they're removing all the, the existing house, right? It's, this is, they're building this, guys, they're building this in the water. In the water. It's on the water. It's in the water. It's, a it's in the water. It's, it's so what does that mean? It's, it's a boathouse with an It's a boathouse with an apartment above it. So they're building it. If I may, on this drawing, they're building it right here. Yeah. Right. Right. But on the no, property, he's, so he's, he's, he's just asking: Is there any is there any mitigation that's necessary because they're putting it on the on water? Well, I mean, well so if, if it was put on land, it wouldn't it wouldn't be any doubt there'd be mitigation. And the question mark is: Is it, when it goes if it goes on the water, is it required? Mitigation? Well, I don't even know if that's the case. While I agree with you in principle, if you're removing a house. And returning it to to pervious surface, which they are doing, and that had a bigger square footage than the existing than the one that they're planning. They're not building a house. They're not taking a house down. They're building. No, they are. No, they're, they're not. Yes, yes they're, 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 they're removing the house. They are. Removing there's a, there's the an house. existing right house on the this property. Is, they're this is being removed. 
Oh, but they're building this house yeah, in the right. water. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That's right. So, right. The net impervious surface on this property is going down, though. Correct. Is my point. While we should still require mitigation, because right. I, I have no problem saying this square footage, put a leader on it, put a rain garden over no, here if we want. No, like we no, can no. talk. That's going to be more. We're, we're, but what, what, I, what I, I'm agreeing to the point is, is that yes, this is the, the removal of the house is going to allow the increase in, in impervious area. Okay? Right. But the house is going to. Uh, the new on on the water house okay, yeah, yeah. studio apartment is going to create a, its own, which we which we require some mitigation. Perhaps the mitig the mitigation that is necessary will be less than the advantage of removing sure. the house. That we Perhaps. should take okay. into consideration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a balancing act. Sure. Okay. And and from all from all what we're looking at, you're probably right. It probably does offset. But I think we have to look at it, just not accept that as fact. We have to look at it. Yeah, hundred percent. Sure. Okay. I'm yeah, but uh, but the uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But the the house is in the hundred foot buffer, right? Would we agree to that? The uh, current the, the yeah, current house is in the hundred foot all buffer. In, is it all in? Yes. Is, is it in the okay, hundred foot buffer? Okay. And the new dock house is that in the buffer or in the wetlands? It, well, it, 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 it's, it's, in it's, it's, it's in a lake. Well, it's it's, it's wetlands, essentially. Yeah, but how many boathouses do you have? But you're also building a proposed boathouse and a proposed dock. Yeah. And what are the dimensions on the dock? 32 foot also? Yeah. I, I disagree. Okay, we have, we have, that's we have another question. The, the mitigation is one question we have to, have to answer, is what are the balancing of mitigation? The other one is, is that is there something in additional uh, to the fact that he's going beyond some number, perhaps it's 25 feet going into the lake, which would require some, some additional permitting or it is not allowed or something like that. We have to find that out. That's what we have to do. I had this reg somewhere years ago, and I just can't find it right now. All right, well, you know, I, I have no problem speaking to Joe. No, uh, the, um, the dock and the, the overhang is over the deck, or is the deck out further than the overhang of the roof? Yeah, the, the debt. It's over. Okay. Just about this. In line. Okay. line yeah. Now, I'm assuming, I'm assuming the, if it's going to be a studio apartment, it's going to have a bathroom in it. Yes. Um, mm. What about the facilities for that? How, what, how's that being accommodated? What we're going to do is, as, as we show here on the drawing, we're removing a three bedroom house. Yes. We're replacing it with a one bedroom house. So okay. Basically, we're going to use the existing septic system. Okay. Uh, yeah, have, you show, have you shown that on the plans? Uh, well, we have to wait we, in conversation with the health department to see exactly how they want okay. us to do it. Then. Okay. But no, we're, 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 we'll approve it. You'll obviously have something. We need that. Of course. Of course. I, yeah, I didn't say you know that, but just putting no. it out. Put it under minutes. Okay. What's the square footage of the apartment? The square footage of the apartment. 25 by 32 ballpark. Now, the, the exterior apartment's on the second floor, right? Correct. Okay, and on the first floor, there will be, is that for the boats? Just for the boats. Just boats. And storage, square et cetera. Feet. Storage 800 area. square feet. Yeah. Do you know? Is there, there going to be fuel stored in the in this in the facility at all? How is going to be heated? Fuel? Oil? We're, 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 we're probably going to want to see, probably see some plans of the, both, well, certainly the bottom, uh, the uh, base story, uh, base story of the uh, of the proposed building, perhaps well, even the have, second. We have to go into the structural engineer show you exactly the next one. Has All right, so here's my problem. I need to say I, I, don't, I, I don't have anything. Has I, have, I don't have any structural drawings here. Maybe I, I, I have, have third drawings. There's only two drawings. There's only two drawings. Oh, is it all here? No, I think it's attached to this. There's only two drawings. It's attached to this here, Joe. It's attached to the little ones. No, no. 101, 102, and did you have, you have a 103? No, I don't have a No, I'm asking Joel if you have a 103. Are you no, not on any of them. No, 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 we don't have that. Okay, well, I'll do it. How do you plan on building this? You're going to put... Two caissons? Yeah, drill concrete. Into, uh, we, we actually had uh, an analysis. They, they go down to get the, uh, indicate what the bottom of the lake was. And based on that, and its, it's, its ability to support, these are the uh, 
special drawings that uh, show exactly what's going to be done. And I, I will obviously get, get you these drawings. How old, okay. is, how old is the existing one frame structure? How old? One story. Yeah. Uh, I would guess probably goes back, I'm mean, going to guess, to the 40s or the 50s. Uh -huh. Of the last century. What kind of condition is it? <laughs> Uh, well, it's, in pretty, it's not in good condition. It hasn't been lived in, I would say, for at least oh. six, seven years. I, I mean, I don't want to. Um, let me find out from I, Joe. And we're we're, we're going to have to know all the connections for whatever utilities, too. Yeah, this oh, is. Well, no, I, I, I just know. wanted to introduce the project. That's fine. We're, we're, oh, you've introduced it. Uh, bring up all the questions that you want to have answered. And then we can well, you need to give us a sequence of operation. I, yeah, I know you have the turbidity. So uh, You're going to need the Army Corps of Engineers approval on this and the DEC. I need a letter from them at a minimum. Do we? Do they need AOC? That's applicable? They're in the water. Uh -huh. they, listen, even if they contact and they say no, the no job, a, right, yeah. then they say there's, they're not involved in it, I'm good no, with that. Who are you talking about? Army Corps. Oh. So the DEC, DEC Army Corps, Corps maybe the DEP. DEP right? yeah, I know, Army. but uh, don't add agencies that. Have no <laughs> well, then I'll, I'll leave it to you. Then you give me an agency, any agency you feel that's applicable. That's give it to me. Uh, can I ask? Within uh, reason. I think the, <laughs> the sequence. <laughs> I think the sequence of construction needs to be expanded from okay. the four items that are on here because what, I mean, so I have some major questions, or at least maybe you could walk me through, um, and we'll need this in writing, of course, how you plan on de de deconstructing this house, carting away the materials, the, the disturbance area, are you removing all the concrete and breaking it up? Like You may need a swip. How are you... Again, you may need a swip because you're ripping this. You got to calculate to make sure you're not at 5,000 square feet of disturbance. Because by the right. time you do this, and you do this, and you do this, and you do this, that's a spill kit. <laughs> you do this, you I, may I, be I, at the five, and you I, do this, you may so be at the 5,000. This is all existing. Are you taking it out? Why, why okay, but you're taking this out. Yeah, that's what I'm taking. Taking out. this out. Do you have a? Is there a plan of of uh, what this will look like? What, yeah, post what construction? The final, the final, the final con top contours. No, I put that on the No, just because I'd like and, to. And please keep white ledger, please someone take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, you told There's me too late. Already that. seven in. There's a fee. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, um, for every legible Do I pay by the word? No, by the letter. letter. Oh my God! See, and you should see what uh, I get for punctuation. <laughs> oh, then, then, uh, then I'm really in trouble. And then um, now, let me let me ask this. Sure. The, there's a septic system, okay? Correct. Uh, is it shown on the plan here? I don't see it right offhand. If it's not shown, it should be shown. Yeah. All right, okay. I that. okay. And if it's that, if it's that all, I hope you're able to find it. Well, you're going to have to get approval from the Board of Health anyhow. Yeah. The other thing is, uh, what's and board of health. what um, what fuel the home? Electric. It's going to be electric. Well, no, what was it? What it was? Oh, the existing house. Right. Yeah. Uh, I've never been inside. So okay. Could, could, could there could there be an mm. oil tank there? Mm. That would be. Could be. Okay. Cool. If there's an oil tank, we want to we need yeah. some information on Check. that too because you're removing it. That's Four. that is that is. Oil tank. And I would need a certified letter That's that that tank is removed properly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That what about what, is this just town water on this, Joe? Well, it's a well. It's a well. Is it well you, on the plan? You, you, you don't don't see it on this plan. On the two sheets, I don't see any. I don't see it. it could be here, but I don't see it right here, right offhand. Machinery. Got to know where the well is. Well You're going to use the existing well, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. We got to know that, and, and if so any connections that are going to be made, it's going to be some new connections. You're going to have to go to the proposed boathouse too, right? Okay, we're going to have to see that. And what season of the year are we doing the excavation work? Provide us a can you give us a construction schedule because you know it's, uh, during the summer you'll have a lot of boats out there and stuff. And when you start digging for your footings here, you're going to create a lot of turbidity and a lot of uh, you're going to raise a lot of silt. So you may want to put a double turbidity curtain around it and propose uh, a schedule when you want to. Double turbidity. Double. 
I, I think you got a good point that obviously shouldn't be done at the height of the uh, yeah. voting season. That's a good idea. You have some overhead utility lines there. Those are existing? Yes. Do they extend? Where do they go? It seems to stop right here. Is that, uh, is that where they stop? There's no pole or anything there. It says utility pole over here, but nothing I mean, down here. I don't know does that go to the, it, where so. does it go? That proposed boathouse is not there. Where do they no, go? Uh, right now, it looks like it just goes to the end of the property. Okay, well, let's see where, you're going to be having to put some lines in here, okay. some electric lines. Well, that, the survey put that in. I'll, and I'll uh, I think you ought to check what, what these overhead, or you said it says overhead utility lines. Where the heck do they go? Hmm? I have the wetlands code, same one that's in there. I don't have the actual code. It's like a thousand pages. I thought you printed it up. <laughs> I thought that was your homework the assignment. Pocket, the pocket one, yeah. Pocket oh, did you, did your uh, copy machine run out of paper? Yeah. Let me ask you a question. The uh, concrete that you're going to pour in the, in the water, what are you doing? Is it a tremmy concrete or are you just pouring? You're building caissons. You're going to fill caissons and you're going to have to go out there with a very large drill rig, right? I need to know the sequence of operation for drilling in the lake. Okay. And the type of equipment. And the storage of equipment. Can I say, but you know what? No, no, when no. you go to school, you have to take notes. Well, but you're talking, you know, Drilling I can't sequence. take notes and answer questions. Cause I, I, I only got one of those three things. <laughs> <laughs> I drilling sequence. Then you're drilling the drilling rig. The rig. And what they're going to do to mitigate when they do the concrete, the tremmy concrete. You're going to pour a tremor concrete because you're on the water. And you're probably going to pump it. So you're going to have, probably have a pump truck on site. So, you know, the, you need a plan here of where equipment's going to be staged during the, during the work because, you know, if you have a pump truck here, that's going to be in and out for the day, but you're going to want to leave the pump truck on 6 mil poly. When you have the drill rig, he's going to be on... Uh, dunnage mats and that you're going to put in it because he's not going to be on the land because he's just going to sink and and land. you're going to put dunnage mats so you're going to disturb that area as well so at night what are we going to do with that rig because we all know hydraulic rigs they're bone dry so you're going to have to store that on pond so you need to give us a plan on what you plan to do with okay. that hmm. and you need to calculate the area of disturbance because if you're at that 5,000 number, it's a swip. I have. Um, do you, so can you describe what this property will look like aside from the boathouse on the water after the construction? Yes, what I'll do, you, you, you're you're gonna I'll give you a plan, Final plan. Show, uh, you know, a landscape okay. plan to show exactly what this is going to look like. Fortunately, as you can see from the survey, there are a lot of nice trees on the property, which yeah. obviously we're going to keep. Okay. And then this area is going to be landscaped. Uh, are you going to be removing most of the like? So there's you know there's some there's a slate patio. Are you keeping that? A slate yeah, yeah. Walk? You got to show identify what you're leaving. Right, that's right. yeah. That's the, what the, I mean. The patios by that. and the walks will remain. Uh, the uh, you know the park here obviously will, will remain, but this whole parking will remain. Okay. Yeah, and the um, uh, the area the area where the structure is right now that's going to yeah. be removed and that's all going to be landscaped. So I'd like to recommend also we were talking before about mitigation. I'd like to recommend that even if um, the removal of all of the impervious from this property is greater than the mitigation required for the new footprint that is over the lake, um, I'd like to recommend that you explore adding leaders in a rain garden somewhere on the land to capture the water that's coming off of the pitched yeah, roof oh, um, of, the, of, the, uh, of the new proposed boathouse. Now let me ask another question. This house, the existing house, is on a slab, or it has no basement, right? It's on a slab. Uh, that's a partial. Uh, if you, as you can see from the topography, it's level here and it slopes down. So this portion, the Are back going to fill the it? Or they're just going to grade it? No, we're just going to grade it. It's, it's, so I need I said, a letter. You know why? Because when you, at the back of the house, the basement know. is at grade. So when we take everything out, we'll just, let I mean, fill it, let So I know so I need yeah. a, what you're going to fill it with. Sure. Certified clean <laughs> fill. Yeah. What? If no, you, you need, need to, to let us know. In, you gotta yeah, if you need fill, that. you got to let us know it's going to be certified clean fill. Of course. You're, you're getting a lot of feedback on what, what's needed, okay? I don't think you should, you should 
conclude that that's all that's needed, okay? This is because, because we only have partial plans. When we get the full plans, there'll be probably another whole list. Okay, so, so I just want to be clear no, that no, no expectations that the next time you come in, everything's going to be hunky-dory, okay? Because we're going to, and that, that's just, that's just because we don't have final plans at this point. Okay. And that was the purpose of tonight's meeting? No, fine. To get, to get know, started, it's yes. unusual. I don't think, I it's, don't it's think a, there's a, another situation like this on the lake that no. I know of. It's a very complex pro, uh, pro, uh, problem. Or it is. And that's the reason and to get the And, and we appreciate and I, that. We, and I do appreciate We do. We appreciate it. <laughs> we're we're not trying to give you a hard time. We're no, just no, trying to do that. explore all And I want everything to be on the up and up as far as, you know, the uh, extent, extent of the light. Right. Yeah, um, uh, let me ask one other quick question. Is sure. anything going to be happening down here where the... Who who owns this piece of... I mean, I, it looks like it's in the property line, but it also looks like it's connected to Act Ferry Lane. Is that this little this jump out of property? Here? Yeah. Uh, that is, we have no plans to touch that. Okay. This whole section over here... The slate walk and the patio over here. Yeah. That's not going to be touched. Okay. And again, it, it, you know, it's, there's no snow on the ground, so it might be advantageous. So everything slopes the towards the, towards this way, yes, towards sure. the 6N. Yes. Based on the topo. Correct. That's correct. Yeah, this is And a, towards the lake, I believe. Towards the lake. Yeah, yeah. It's, it goes around towards 6N and towards the lake. That's correct. Towards the entrance, I mean. All right, good. Okay. Is there a deed in the file? I didn't get to that. Mr. And there deed. might be a new deed because you're, yeah. you're going to be joining the property. Oh, yeah. Whatever deeds There's you no need, deed. I need deeds. Oh, wait a minute, there is a deed. Of course you have a deed. Oh, huh? No. And by I, I mean the board. Sorry. You, <laughs> you take it personally. Listen, yeah. No I've, I've run into funny deeds before. There's no deed. Okay, put that down. I get my camera. <laughs> deed. Okay. You know, I think I'm I just found some new revenue stream. What's that? No picture taking. The deeds. Alright. Okay. It'll be a very nice looking project when it's done. So it, yeah, it's beautiful. It really is. I think it'll be an asset to the uh, to the lake. Yep. And the whole bottom went like oh, this oh, and then it went down here too, not up oh, here. Oh, no. oh okay. Needed a bigger piece of paper. Need a bigger boat. Oh, is this it? No, it's no. This is, no, no, this is S1. Oh, there it is. I, 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 know I mean, it. it looks like there may only be there was separate only one. from, there was separate only from one. that, but there is S1. No, I, I remember giving that. What ha okay, now I know what happened. I mean, I saw it. But. This was delivered with that package, so yeah. So you should have. Everyone should have this copy. Well, there was only two. Huh? There was only two pages of my. No, drawer. this wasn't attached. Oh, no. There's a separate. separate, separate. It must, uh, there was. Must a, there wasn't. Whatever. Here it is. There's one copy of it. Right. One copy. Might need to provide, provide a few more. I wrote S1 on here anyways, just in case. Here's a rock sock. Here's another S1. Yeah. Oh, what okay. size diameter? Uh, here's another. Oh, yeah, you got another one? Yeah, All right, I apologize. My bad. Are you going with 36 inch diameter rock sock? Only two. Okay, size that right? Do you know the size of a rig for a 36 inch rock socket? Very large. <laughs> No way you can have a reach from the land out if you're 32 30, foot. What do you mean, for pumping or for dr actually drilling? For drilling, he's got to get over the hole. Is he going to do it from a barge? Or is he going to do it from... That's I kind of need to know. No, okay. so yeah. like Sam did you, did, did you, do, any, did you do any boring or something? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Yeah, give us a boring oh. test too, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, let me, let me ask. So you... When did you do the borings? Uh, and how did you do the borings? When? Yeah, when and how. Yeah, right. Boring. Just ask him. It was done a few months ago. And did you bother to come to us and ask us to go in? And how did you do it? I mean, that was, you know, I was not the engineer, so I obviously didn't come. 
Borings and what was the other thing? That's that usually requires well borings and whether it's gonna be on a barge. Barge. How are you gonna drill? Drilling, drilling, drill. drilling, drilling plan. I mean, I think I have that in here. Yeah. So here's the rule of thumb, okay? We you, want, go, you go in the lake, I want to know when you go in the lake. How about just for a swim? You can go in a swim. I don't care if you swim. Permission. I don't care if you take your boat in there. I, you just need to, if you oh, go in there to do borings. work and disturb it, yeah, we need the you really need to. Uh, Joe, we need the engineering data. The well, engineers I, have all these uh, other data. Uh, yeah, you know, now no, I'd no, you know, add to your list, I would like the soil borings. I would I like copies that. of the really results of the soil borings. Okay, I, I have that. I, I mean, and I would also like the SPT tests. What I'm going to do is, next time I'm going to bring the engineer with me. So we'll there knock, you go. knock your socks off. All right. There you go. You know oh, look, you're the from? next one, too. Uh, GNCB from, uh, from Connecticut. It's on, the, it's on the plans. Okay. Oh, yeah, the name is on the plans. But you have a copy of it. All right, thank you very much. Okay, Appreciate thank it. you, Joel. The next project will be much easier. That's, I've heard that before. <laughs> well, this is around the corner. I'm out of room. What am I supposed to write on now? I no, guess uh, they got another one over there. Okay, take nah, no, that's right. I'm over here now. Yeah. I'm good. You want some paper? That paper is good. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. Yeah, I have various other things to write on. But sometimes he, he gets down to his hand. Yeah. Let me tell him don't wash his hand. What are we doing here, Mr. Viscovich? Viscovich. Oh, All right, please, okay. uh, oh, yeah, next item is uh, Viscovich, Mario Viscovich, South Lake Boulevard, construct shed, dock, and deck. Please state your name. My name is Joel Greenberg, the architect for Mr. Viscovich. <coughs> and you are? No, you. And this is I'm Mr. Mario Viscovich. Hello, Mr. Viscovich. Uh, this is a referral from the planning board. We've got... Uh, the planning board on several occasions to try to bring these drawings up to the point where we could go for a variance to the zoning board and also referral to this board. Uh, this board meeting came up first, so we're here first and hopefully going to the zoning board uh, at the end of January. Uh, basically, the first drawing over here shows you exactly what uh, is there as we speak right now. Uh, the property is very, very small. It's only, I think, 471 square feet. Uh, it's got wow. a series of decks. It's got some open area over here with, uh, uh, you know, a stone area where, the, where you can walk in. It's got some areas over here where there's plantings. Uh, and there's a dock, several docks, and a couple of decks. All what we're trying to do, basically, and this is why it took some time to get to this board. Uh, first thing is we had to get the uh, shoreline. So we had to survey, go out there, and, and do that. Uh, also... You should be aware, if you look to, your, to the left of the drawing, there's a huge 18-inch concrete pipe of which uh, New York State DOT has an easement through this property to uh, have that pipe come through underneath, and then it, eventually the water goes out into, into the lake. Okay. And we've given the uh, planning board the, the information with regard to the legality of the, uh, of the easement, so that's taken care of. Uh, everything, in, everything in yellow here is existing. Correct. Okay, Incl but including the, the these the ramp that you show here, that yes, everything is existing. But everything on the on the sports drawing, the color drawing is is, is existing. Correct. Okay, fine. You said several docks. There's uh, it looks like there's only one on the property. Correct. Okay. The next one is the next door neighbors. Yep. This is the next door neighbors here, and this is the next door neighbors. The one on the right and the one on the left. Gotcha. Right. North and south. So, and then if you flip the page. Basically, what we're trying to do is put a seven and a half, seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters shed, wooden shed, on top of one of the docks. And we're also extending this existing dock, which you see here in yellow here, to cover out this area over here. So we're putting in a shed. Uh, the plane will also requires a porta potty, so we show that over there. And we're extending this existing deck or dock, whatever you want to call it. This dock is going to be removed, and we're just going to have one dock coming through here uh, off the new deck. And then this is your, this line right here is your property, is the shoreline? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, that's the shoreline. And yeah. you're only going out 25 feet. No, no, no. Correct. The shoreline's over here. No, no the shoreline no. is right here. Yeah. Because if you look at this drawing, 
the shoreline is here. That's correct. So no. this line Four, is this line. Correct. And that, this is, well, it, it says line. existing shoreline. It says former and exist for, existing. The existing is, is the uh, dashed line. Yeah, uh, make it easy. Look no, no, no. Yeah. Look, this is his shoreline. No. Yes. It says here, what is the word? No. Existing lake shore. Here. And then it comes in, it and then goes in, across. Goes that's across. that's it. That that's the existing. That's the existing shoreline. shoreline. Right. And then you flip to this page. Yeah. Oh man. And we show the existing shoreline. Right. And we're out twenty-five feet. No, if you're, this is this is the shoreline. Yeah, you're out this, 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 this plus this. No. Yeah, this plus this is twenty. No, no, no. He, no. This is twenty-five feet. Uh, Total twenty-five, 25 feet. feet. Twenty-five feet. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah, you got a hard dark in the lines. Oh. Either yeah. that, or I need new glasses. I know a bit of comic books. I buy the the Walmart ones three for ten bucks. Okay. So how come you kept this at twenty five feet? Yeah. Here? Why'd you keep this one to twenty five feet? <laughs> you didn't want to go get a variance. Why? He just answered the question. Okay. Now, what's the square footage that you you're adding besides the porta potty? It's about sixty square feet of the new wood. Sixty four square for the shed. Right. And, the, and seventy five. That's new. Feet. You're subtracting the old. Right. Okay, so this is you're removing it. How many square foot? How many square foot was the the old one? Hold on, I'll tell you. Sixty four. And the, the wood dock is only going to be three feet wide. This the new one, yeah. Yeah, three yeah. feet. Yes. They're all like that over there. No, most of the docks along the lake they're all they're all about three feet. You know. Oh, it sounds like it's going to be a balancing. That's actually, 36 inches. Actually, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at this one, this one's only about two, a little, less, a little over two feet. Two and a half. And this one, yeah, this would go up a lot more than 25. I doubt they have a variance. Uh, this one is, <laughs> no. oh my God. I, I won't tell you how good it's about yeah, 50 no. feet. So yeah. for these people over here, this one was all yeah. about that. But those are existing, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're not worried about that. <laughs> They're not here before us. <laughs> right. Too bad. All right. Captain, I think our new one is less than the existing one. Goes out for less than the existing one? Oh, yeah. And why, what's, the, what's, the, what's the problem? These decks, these docks are in bad shape? Joe, Joe you're saying that the, the single hash area is only six, would you say 60 what? Uh, square feet? 60? The, uh, this the shed that we're adding on top of the existing dock. 64 dog, square feet. It's about a little over six, about 60 square feet. Okay. Oh, okay, so... Oh, new, where's the new, which, which part is the new dock? It's almost 64 square feet. There's yeah, no you, parking on the site. Eight times park eight. What's the seven and three quarters by 72? Which is close. I, okay, 62. Let's settle for 62. And the porta potty, is that going to be there all the time? What about, how, how much, what's the area of the new dock? Dave, we oh, rules about that is, on the lake. Yeah, okay. Because that's a lot more than that. We take the, that porta potty is not going to be there. All no. year round, is it? You're not going to keep that going. No. Are you putting it on anything? A s it's on pea gravel or what, what, you know, whatever that grass? What are you going to put the porta potty? And then you put a new wood fence. Is it a porta potty? It's just just for a short period of time. Just, just yeah, during the summer months. Summer. Just a su every summer month. They're allowing you to do that every summer month? It's Yeah, they have well, weird rules. Look, There's specific yeah, laws about it. Yeah. yeah, almost every really? month. They, yeah, they take them out in the winter, they take them out in the summer. They charge like 100 okay. bucks a month. Okay. <laughs> there was a lot so of the proposals. The new, the new, doc, a new doc is 10, 10 by 10. 10 by 10, you got, it's more than 10 by 10. I'm looking at the single hatched area new, where it says new doc. That's more than 10 oh, by 10. It's 15 by 10. You want a new ruler? Yeah, yeah, the kind of like this. Well, it's, it's averaging a little bit less. Five tenths, maybe 14 by 12. So, whatever that comes out. so you're going to need to show a turbidity curtain. Would you? You have a detail somewhere, too? Yes. Uh, yeah, but you got to show it on here. How are you going to? Where? Again. Where? Where is you have it on yours? I don't see it. Must be with the other drawer. Where's the other file? Right here. All right. I don't know. I have it on my drawer. You show a silt fence. Great. Right along here, but you're not digging anything. Right? And all right. You're so not showing it on a plan. I think that's an old plan. 27. What's your date on yours? May 3rd, 2019. 
1227. A survey was done then. No, the last no, one, revision. 1227. 1227, 19. AS100. Yeah, I don't see it. There's no curtain on it. Curtain. Yeah, Fine. We need the curtain. Do you have the detailed curtain somewhere? No. Yes, of course, Jim. There's a whole detailed curtain. Oh, and what are you doing for the dock support? Players. Using this metal yeah. adjustable? Uh, Mr. Fiskovich is an engineer, and he will. This is he's done this before. And, uh, yeah, this is the detail for the whole to support the dock. And that you're bending the curtain. If you lift up your arm, there's the detail around. Sill fence, great. Where are you putting sill fence? Oh, well, ag again. Just, I mean, most of it is 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 in the water, but sure. Just to protect it, just in case. B uh, but where where is it actually? Is it on the S silt? S, S silt. Silt. It's Fine. Like silt. But there's no T for turbidity. Yeah, you have to control where the turbidity curtain is going. Yeah, yeah. It's, on no it's, it's, it's on this one. It's on this one. I know. Um. <clears throat> this is the so what are these screwed into the bottom of the lake? No. You're not digging in the lake, all right? No, not going to be secured. No. Just the weight alone is going to hold it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm, I see this real quick. Construction specifications. Woven wire. Sure. Filter cloth. Sure. Fine. That's going to. That's going to. I don't know. What the shed is going to be built on site? Or are you having it delivered? Side, most probably on the site. Built on the site? Built on site? Yeah, we'll buy prefabricated uh, cut uh, wood and just make a shed. It's just a simple shed. Okay. Is it going to be electric in it? Excuse me? Electric in it? No. Plumbing in it? Oh. So yeah, no, I'm no. just asking. Yeah. If I don't ask, you don't know. Maybe tell. you want to put a sink in or something. Yeah. Yeah. If you, again, if you look at your code, it does not do anything. The, um, Thanks. What materials are we making all everything out of? The decking. What do you do for the decking? And the you said you're going to be prefabricated. What are you putting the the shed on? Existing. It's an existing wood deck. You're leaving that deck as is, not touching it. Right on top. Okay. So there's no additional square footage from the from that of from the that stir, the right? Stir from that specifically, that. fine. But well, it's just a new deck, the new dock. Treated wood. So I, I somewhere on here you should indicate there needs to be an indication of what is the the deck is going to be made out of, like treated wood. Just put that somewhere. Uh, deck materials. Uh, I assume, I mean, it's a pretty small area, but if you could also indicate a note about stockpiling. They're not going to stockpile. Okay, so, I mean, no, you're going to be bringing in all this stuff and then leaving it on the site somewhere, no? You're going to leave it on the dock. I mean, it's, it's already there. Fine. It's not like it's dirt or concrete. Fine, fine. Are you re and you're removing this wood dock, so the small one that you, know, you said uh, indicating yeah, being removed. This one. Um, so in your construction sequence, which we need a yeah, you need longer to update construction, this construction sequence. sequence, you need to indicate we'll be removing that and, pull, and no pulling it right off right? site. No heavy equipment. No. 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 Note for that. No. No. Again, I have to ask. No, no, no. I'm, I'm teasing with you. Know, come on. And then uh, construction. And then they have to do a, does he have to do a rain garden for the disturbance? I don't know. What's the difference between the old and the new, Joel? Area of disturbance. Well, well imper uh, impervious, impervious area. It's, impervious. It's basically, it's basically the same because everything on land has not, is not changing. We're putting the shed over the existing dock. And the that's a zero. And that's and the impervious. adding the, dock, the decking is just over the water here. So, so then you've got to give me some mitigation. For decking? For decking? For a Over the lake. What are you going to be kidding? What, do I, what do you mean by Well, money? you're going to give me mitigation for the house that you're building over the lake. Uh, we've we've, we've discussed this before about decking, If right? it was a floating dock, yeah. it's different because it goes in and out, right? Oh, no. the dock itself you're talking about. Right. So he's building a deck. No, I know, but w so remember we've discussed before about the slats. requiring less, but I, I don't know what we could do on this. Yeah. 
Vince? Yeah, I don't know either. It's a tiny property. He's not adding any, anything more on the on the land. Correct. I don't know. Only thing I can think of is maybe leaders off the off the new. But even if you put leaders off this new one, it's on a deck already. Where are you going to run yeah. it into the porta potty? <laughs> yeah. No. All right, I see a point. I don't know. Do you have any? Is there any plantings on the site right now? Yes. yes. If you look at go to the go to the color drawing. This area over here, uh, which is not over here. This this planting over here. What what do you got there? What, what kind of plants do you have there? Any trees? Ornamentals and oh, stuff. There, is, no, there is one big tree that is. Uh, here, this is six inches. Put your glasses on. Here's the uh, ram. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there is a big tree like like right, like right here. Mm -hmm. So and what about is this some planting over here? There is a plant like a flowers. No, no shrubs. You know, no, no, no. So why don't you do me a favor? Let's sure. do the right thing, right? Tell me what you want. Dig up some of these plantings. Calculate the area here for. You would for for mitigation for a rain garden. We'll call it a day. You got it. No, what what uh, what Bob is saying is that since this area is pervious, mm -hmm. what we can do is just what we we're talking about before. In other words, we're going to have the uh, the dock deck over here and the uh, shed, shed mm -hmm. and we'll just put a pipe and we'll put some rain, yeah. rain garden plants in there. And okay. Yeah, okay. Well, Fair enough. I'm good with that. Cool. Maybe that. maybe you see the see where it says wood dock there. Uh, you have wood dock where? deck there. Oh, this is wood deck. Yeah. Okay. North, no roof here. West. No, there's no roof. The only roof is going to be over, over here. In this part. This is, this, okay. this is over here. That's All the right. only one. There's no other hey, roof. No other that. roofing in the whole place. Okay. That sounds good to me. Okay. Okay. What? All right, so. Uh, how, how steep is it off the road coming onto here? Is it like a pretty big drop or is it uh, not very big? I don't know. It's a. Slow. Okay, I know. That, I mean, that's good. Then you'll get some of the runoff from the water, maybe if going in there. It doesn't oh, yeah, matter, right anyways. From, Whatever. Yeah, leave it alone. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. All right. So you got to show it to Bridity Curtain. Put the shed on the deed. A copy of the deed. Is it in here? I don't know. <laughs> Especially no. on these kind of properties. These are where I see the funny ones. Oh, so. You got like six owners. Each one of them has four percent of the property. <laughs> they start doing crazy things on each other's parts. My in-laws have hey. that. Hey Frank. Hey Frank. How are you? How are you? Welcome How are you? back. Yes. I didn't write the right. deed. Let me write deed. Oh, deed. And I don't see yeah, it. Yeah, I need the deed. deed is that okay. How's everything? Good? Good. And are you the only owner of this property, or is there others? Me and my wife. Great. That makes it easy. All right, so deed, show to Bridity Curtain, provide deck materials, update the drawing, provide no construction there. sequence, yeah. rain guard, no heavy Maybe equipment. Service, new impervious service, rain guard. Oh, no, yeah, no heavy equipment. No equipment. heavy equipment, yeah. And that's it. Okay. Call it a day. Okay, you have got that stuff? What? Yes. I've completely mixed the, all the drawings up. Yeah, you, you, Joe, this, this is both projects. You've got one drawing over there we don't have, okay? Oh, yeah. That one you, that you're looking at right there, yeah. You have that. No, 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 no it no, doesn't no, have no, the... Uh, oh, the turbidity curve. I wrote it down, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, this is the latest drawing, so the, this is going to be computer, so you'll have this drawing. Plus the fact I'll take yeah. care of, add the, uh, mm -hmm. the rain guard, whatever else. Yeah, no, we don't. I don't think we had that one right there. Yeah, we yeah, had the color, a color one. No, we had color one, but he he has added lines on it. No, no, no. I, I just made them darker. That's all. Oh, okay. No okay. Gotta trust Joel. You gotta trust okay. me. Okay. It's, it's trust. Uh, 2020, right? Okay. <laughs> right. 2020. That's it. All right. All right. Listen. Have a very happy New Year. You too. Thank I'll you as well. Thanks have for a coming happy in. New Year. And. Uh, We'll get the show on the road. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you very much. Nice okay. to meet you. Uh, okay. Now you're going to go. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Almost. Got one last thing to do. All right. Meeting minutes we cannot approve because um, 
Only Vince and I, we, uh, Fannin and Barnett were out. You can never approve this we one. Remember, you need, to ask the, you need to ask how to approve it. We can never approve I'm this one. I'm going to make an executive decision. <laughs> it's you and I. Because Fannin and if Barnett. If you don't want us to abstain. Unless we bring Julie in. I'd be happy to uh, not for, abstain for your benefit. That I would appreciate. <laughs> this way I can close it out. For the night, There's no other way to close it. There's, There's no, no other, other way, way to close it. So you have to read the minutes. Fine. You have to wait till next time. Then I will read the minutes. Okay. Hold. Ten three nine. It's fancy. My pen ran out of ink. I, good, night, oh. good night. Good night. Good luck. I will read it for next meeting. Let me make a big note. But I'm not gonna watch it. <sighs> I was gonna. Say, I was just. It's more fun to watch it. Watch it too. It's more fun to watch it. <laughs> Okay, with that, then, uh, we've gone through the agenda. The only item that we had left was the meeting minutes, which we will deal with next meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, with that, do I have a motion to close the meeting? So moved. Adjourn second? The, adjourn the meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Good night. Have a happy new year. Bye.